is a life I lead in this city Hurry and you cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am? are feeling well. I actually just sat down to eat lunch. This morning went by so quickly. I did my quiet time. I finished editing a video, did a little arm workout, and now it's already lunchtime. So I made this little veggie sandwich with some spinach, some cheese, mustard, banana peppers, hummus. Did I say hummus? It's just really simple and really yummy. And some nuts and some carrots and celery. So I'm going to munch on this while I get some work done or just kind of plan everything I need to get at the grocery store today. And then I also wanna pop into Home Goods, So I need to like look at my list of house stuff I wanna get and make sure I have all of the new additions I'm looking for. And then I also wanna pop into World Market cause I did a little curbside pickup order for there. So it's gonna be a great day. And I also have a really cute clothing haul to share with you all. So that'll be great as well. And I'm just excited to spend time with you. time for a really cute clothing haul so I want to thank Princess Polly for sponsoring this portion of today's video I adore Princess Polly I've shopped there for years they have such a beautifully curated collection of items and I always find pieces that I just absolutely adore so excited to show you what I picked out and let's start with the outfit I'm currently wearing so we have this graphic tee that says Yosemite National Park and I just love the color of this and it's so good for layering and it's kind of that oversized fit. And I paired it with this little plaid shirt that I've actually had since the fall but I thought it looked really nice with this and it's great if I get cold I can just layer it over the tee. And then we have these beige sweatpants which of course needless to say are so so comfortable and I just love the color. And then on my feet I actually have these sneakers these chunky white sneakers that I've had from Princess Polly for a while now and I'll try to link similar ones in case they're not available still but I did just get these blue ruffle socks which they always have the cutest socks I have little flower ones and little ruffle ones with a heart on them I just love these little ruffle socks and think they look so cute with sneakers or even just kind of running around the house in. Next up, we have these incredibly fun high-waisted button-up pants and I don't own anything like these and I just absolutely adore them. So excited to wear these this season and I paired it with this little knit top that actually is part of a set, which I'll show you the bottoms in a second, but I thought this paired nicely and I just love this outfit. And here is the complete set with the cute shorts of course this is so comfortable and if you watch my vlogs you just know I love loungewear sets and I pretty much wear them every day so I'm glad to add another one to the collection and I did want to let you all know that all of the pieces ship from the United States and there is free express shipping on all orders over $50 so you get your items in about three to four days so that is fabulous this next outfit is precious and just so dainty and girly. It's this two-piece combo. So you get this pretty blouse and then also this gorgeous skirt. And I just really love the blue color with the floral pattern. It's just very beautiful and I just put a little bralette under the top. The next outfit may just be my favorite of them all. I just think this set is so precious. I love the color scheme. I love all the knit detail. Also, I did want to mention that 
Princess Polly does offer Afterpay to all US customers and I am actually doing a little giveaway on Instagram with them. So the day that this video goes up, the Instagram giveaway will as well. So you can head over to Instagram to enter and I also have a coupon code. So you can use AllisonBXO for 20% off your Princess Polly order. So all good things. Next up, we have this adorable light greenish blue set. And clearly, I just love my sets because they're so effortless and just easy to style. And this is another great outfit to transition to spring. So you can just wear it like this or pair it with a cozy little cardigan. The last piece I want to show you is this beautiful tan jumpsuit with this pretty tie detail. It is so so comfortable, so flattering, and just a really fun piece that would also be fabulous for layering. You could put a cute jacket over this or just wear it as it is, but super cute. I really hope you all enjoyed this Princess Polly haul. And again, if you want to shop any of the pieces, you can use the code ALLISONBXO for 20% off. And just like that, it is iced coffee time. I did decide to change back into this cute little set because I'm just feeling it today. And there's a better change of plans because this day is just flying by. I feel like that's just been happening a lot to me lately. I get kind of caught up on computer work and then the day just, it's already the afternoon. So I'm not gonna go grocery shopping and run my errands this afternoon anymore. I'm gonna do it tomorrow morning because I do have a meeting at 4.30, so I don't wanna have to like keep tabs on the time and potentially be late to that. And it honestly is better when I am able to run my errands and go grocery shopping early in the morning opposed to the afternoon evening just because it's busier at night. So I'm gonna go early in the morning, so I'll take you guys along for that. I'll continue the vlog into tomorrow, but in the meantime, uh, let's make some iced coffee. Actually, I'm gonna make warm coffee. That sounds better to me, but I'll make Brandon some iced. Ever since I first got my espresso maker, I really have been more inclined to want kind of a hot or warm coffee in the afternoon opposed to my typical iced coffee. And maybe it is just because it's the wintry months and this is just so yummy and it's been really fun to experiment experiment with it, but Brandon's still been loving his iced coffee, no matter the temperature, no matter how cold it is outside. to my ears I actually usually just do a plain latte or cappuccino but I do have these flavors over here in these cute little jars and this one is salted caramel which I usually put in Brandon's iced coffee but it comes out a teeny tiny bit at a time which is perfect because we don't like our coffee too sweet and then this one is vanilla which I think I'm gonna add a little bit in today which as you can see is just like a tiny little drop each time which is perfect so I do like about five drops and then this one actually doesn't even have a syrup in it because I only have two flavors currently, but I would love to get a coconut flavored syrup because coconut lattes are one of my favorite things ever. I wanted to share an exciting little plant update because this handsome fiddly fig actually has a couple, actually a few new leaves growing. So let me show you a closer look. Let me set this down. So I just noticed this for the first time a few days ago. So over here, we have a little bitty leaf growing right there. And this little leaf right here has kind of been dormant for a while. So it's just kind of been that size for almost probably around 
seven or eight months, maybe six months. So I don't really know what's going up with this guy, but we do have a little baby leaf growing down there. And then over here, you can really see some growth. So at first I just thought it was one leaf, but now it's looking like three leaves, which is very, very, very exciting because we have had this fiddle leaf fig for probably almost two years now. I think it'll be two years in the summer. So we've had him for a while and he really hasn't grown that many new leaves. Actually, this is the really the only leaf I remember him growing and he has lost a few leaves. So it is encouraging to see that he's growing some leaves. And I honestly really do think it has a lot to do with the natural fertilizer I've been doing. So that banana fertilizer I've showed you before. So very, very encouraging and I'm very thankful about that. I'm gonna sit at my computer for a bit and prep for my meeting and I'm gonna, well I already turned on my heated blanket. This is the new one they sent me after my old one broke and it's not as soft as my old one. It's not exactly the same exact one, but it's okay, it's fine. I'm just thankful to have some heat because I do get quite chilly and it just feels so soothing to have the heated blanket. I was about to have a little complaining session, which I don't like to do, but when I'm vlogging, I have to be honest with how I'm feeling throughout the day. And this afternoon, I've just felt kind of frustrated and easily irritable. I think my 10th of the month is approaching, like in a couple days or tomorrow. So maybe the hormones and just emotions are high, but just like little things have just been annoying me today. And I've had this dilemma with UPS the shipping and <laughs> Brandon's coming downstairs. He knows all about it, but basically they deliver the packages sometimes, but then other times they're like, Oh, address needs adjustment or, Oh, I can't find this address. Like their system isn't grasping our address and it is a new construction home. So, I mean, I understood, I understood the first few times, but I seriously have called them customer service like six or seven times at this point. So yeah, it's been a journey. It's been a journey, but pretty much like 10 minutes after I got off the phone with customer service, one of my packages did arrive safely. So that's very good news. And I'm very thankful for that, but it definitely has been a little annoying, you know, when you just have to keep calling and calling and calling. But again, I understand it is, a new construction home but yeah it's just like when it's repetitive like that it gets frustrating but it'll all work out and hopefully their system will just update the address of course i don't even know how all of this works so i'm very naive but i'm excited to open this box i've been waiting for this one it's actually a basket for my bicycle which I'm very excited about. I have been loving my bike rides. I actually should try to go on one later or a walk. I feel like that would be good for my soul. I feel like I need some fresh air and sunshine. It actually was really cloudy most of the morning and most of the day so far, but the sun is shining now and it's definitely boosting my mood. So that's good. Alrighty, this is seriously, I, I mean, I haven't opened it yet, but online, it seriously is the cutest bicycle basket I ever did see. It's a good size. Oh my goodness. I love it. Look at this. Super, super cute. Okay, so it's from Tote and Carrie. I believe that's how you say it. But it is absolutely adorable. And one of the, well, first of all, I love the shape of it. I think it's a nice kind of unique shape and it has these cute little straps so you can just strap it on your handlebars. But the real selling point for me is this little cup holder. So you can put your little water bottle or your coffee cup or whatever bottle of kombucha right there and then just take it along for your bike ride. So in my, yeah, my bike doesn't have a cup holder. So this is actually very practical as well. Cute and practical. We love to see it. That bicycle basket, actually, the first time I ordered it, I ordered it before we even moved into our house, okay? <laughs> That's how long of a journey that bike basket has been to me. So the first time I ordered it, I actually ordered it through Amazon and then it was shipped by UPS, not Amazon, because the, the seller just uses UPS, I guess. And they actually returned it to the seller before they even tried to deliver it to our house. 
And so I, it was already in the, the sellers in California. So it made its journey all the way to Florida and then California. And then I ordered it again, but I actually ordered it directly from the seller's site, which I thought would be good to do anyways. I didn't even think of that before. Um, but I just looked up the brand and then they had their own Shopify. So I did that. And then I just tracked the tracking super, super consistently to make sure that they weren't returning it to the sender. So I've had to be bit, very proactive with my packages. Another thing I've been wanting to show you is this wallpaper, which I, sh I mentioned it before, but I haven't actually showed you the wallpaper. So I ordered this a new, the brand is a new wall decor wallpaper, and it is absolutely beautiful, but I am feeling a little nervous about it because it is such a statement and my idea was to put the wallpaper on this wall right here with the two windows so behind my desk um, but the thing is so it's a peel and stick wallpaper so basically it's like a huge sticker but it's in it's cut up into little pan littler panels so you can kind of move it around a bit easier so the thing is it is going to be tricky to cut it around the window sills on the two windows there so i'm a bit nervous about that and then two i'm also a bit nervous but i just won't love it and i don't know part of me wants our our home and like especially my little office space to be eclectic and fun and colorful and then part of me wants it to be very like neutral and serene and simple so those two sides of me are kind of just like battling and I don't know what I should do <laughs> so I'll, I'll insert a picture of what the wallpaper looks like and I think it would be just very beautiful with like the seagrass lamp and then just the other textures I already have going on here but also I don't know it's just like a big statement so we shall see but I haven't even unraveled it and my mom is actually coming over tomorrow and I asked her if she would be willing to help me put it up and she said yes but I don't know if I'm ready to put it up yet so I'm thinking one thing I could do is take the panels and then put little tacks in the wall to see kind of mock it up and not actually apply it but just kind of see how it would look like because it's also an option to put it on that wall which doesn't have the window sills and I think it could potentially look pretty there too so oh, I don't know I'm not an interior designer by any means so I really don't know how to go about these things but I'm trying my best and we'll just Sometimes you just have to try it and then see if you love it or see if you need to try something else. So I guess that's just what I'll do. the panels I think they are so beautiful these don't go side by side that's why they're a little different but it's just this really beautiful light blue and kind of darker blue watercolor so uh, I don't know I don't know I don't know it's uh I don't know it's so beautiful I love it but it's just a statement like I keep saying so we'll see what I decide I gotta pray about it a little more kind of up and down day I feel like again my time of the month is approaching so just a lot of feelings but I think I kind of my my heart is craving a relaxing and calm night so after I wrap up a few more things I am going to change to my pjs take off my makeup make a yummy meal and then crawl on the couch I think that's my plan so I'm gonna do that but I was just looking at pinterest because I mentioned this a few vlogs ago but I do want to do some type of gallery wall around our TV in our living room so I'm thinking when my mom comes over tomorrow we'll either do the wallpaper 
or we will do the gallery wall. So what I'm doing, and I won't be able to actually finish the gallery wall tomorrow, but I wanna map it out like this lovely lady did on Pinterest, which I will just insert the photo because it's not really focusing. But basically she has just this kind of light brown construction paper. I need to find the exact name of what that paper is, which I'm sure you guys would know, but we're not talking in real time. So I gotta figure it out myself. Okay, so. She said, I like to use packing or newsprint paper in various frame sizes to get a visual idea. Okay, amazing. So that is what I'm gonna do. And I'll try to pick that up tomorrow when I'm running, tomorrow morning when I'm doing my errands. But like I said, I wanna try to map out all of the things I need so that tomorrow morning I can just get up and go before the stores get too busy and hectic. So that's the plan. All of the things all of the groceries and I got some home decor stuff so I'll show you the home stuff later but I'm just gonna do a quick overview of all of the groceries right now and then we also got some Chipotle for lunch so let's do it cuz I'm hungry so lots of things are pretty standard got some bread from the bakery though some Florida oranges some oh these are the this is the best cookie dough ever it is sweet Lorraine's fudgy brownie highly recommend and it's great ingredients as well and I think it's gluten free yep gluten free and dairy free so pretty amazing and then unsweetened coconut flakes because we put these in our yogurt parfait bowls but also I want to try to make like little protein balls soon also these chips are so yummy these jalapeno lime tortilla chips and then we got some pita chips and I'm really excited to try this kombucha. This is actually the Publix brand kombucha, so I've never tried it before, but the flavors look absolutely wonderful. Honey crisp apple, and then we have this pineapple spirulina one, which is so blue. I guess the combo of the green spirulina and the yellow pineapple juice made that blue color because it doesn't have any dyes or anything. So excited about that. I think I'm gonna pick one out to have with our Chipotle. And then cilantro, peppers, pineapples, jalapeno, which I think I wanna cut some jalapeno and put on my Chipotle bowl to kind of jazz it up a bit. Eggs, canned beans, also these are so, so good. These coconut cookies, I've been craving just like more snacks and stuff throughout the day, so I thought these would be good. And then these adobe peppers, which I'm gonna use for the veggie burgers I'm making this week, and some grapefruit and bananas. I'm happy to report that this kombucha is delicious and the color is just sparking a lot of joy. It's so bright and happy. And I do need to kind of put a little disclaimer that not everybody loves kombucha. So if you've never had kombucha before, just, you know, you just go in with the expectation that you might not love it because some people think it's very vinegary. I was talking to the cashier at Publix about this. They actually think it's so vinegary and they don't love it. We find that hard to believe, but hmm. I think it's kind of like the cilantro thing, how some people think cilantro tastes like soap. It's just kind of like a taste bud genetic thing. I don't know. 
I don't know the science behind it, but cheers to the fellow kombucha lovers. My mom just came to visit for a little bit and we talked about the wallpaper and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put it in the guest bedroom. So a full 180, but I do think it'll work better there and it'll be more, that's a better space for it because since my office is just right when you walk into the house, I just want it to kind of be more neutral and more of a versatile space, so. That's the plan, so we're gonna do that soon. I'm gonna do like a little guest bedroom refresh transformation kind of thing. So of course I'll take you along for that journey, but let me show you what else I picked up today. So I found this pillow at World Market and I thought it was very beautiful and I think I'm gonna try it out in our master bedroom. So it's just like a really pretty texture and it was a great price. I think it was $25, let's see. Yep, and then I also picked up this tissue box cover, which I'm not 100% sold on. I still kind of have to decide fully. Also, I think there's a little scrape right there that I just noticed on the corner. So yeah, I might end up returning this, but I'll see how it looks in the space. And we still are kind of brainstorming on how we want that, our master bathroom to look, so. We shall see. And then over here from Target, I ended up getting these three baskets because there's just a variety of different places that I'm looking to add more storage. So I'll either put these in our laundry room or my closet or the pantry. So I'll play around and see where they fit best. But I've just kind of, every time I see baskets and these were on sale, so I was especially inclined to get them just because like I said, I have a few different places I'm looking to add more storage. And then the last thing, actually the last thing from Target, is this pillow, which was just so perfect for our bench, our little breakfast bench. It's this pretty cream color and it's just so super soft and it's actually nice and plush so you can sit back and just kind of sink into it, which I love. And then the last thing I picked up is this kitchen runner from World Market, which I did like the little curbside pickup, which I just find so convenient. <laughs> and I really like this kitchen runner. It's very beautiful. And I have just been looking for a good kitchen runner for this space and I think it just blends in really nicely so excited about this find also picked up this craft paper from Lowe's it's just this super thin brown paper that I can use to kind of cut in the shapes of the artwork that I want to add to our around our TV as kind of the gallery wall so I'll play around with that super soon that's gonna be it for this vlog though the rest of the day I'm just gonna get some computer work done and kind of curl up in my heated blanket it's very very overcast today in Florida so I'm thankful I'm able to stay home and kind of stay cozy on days like today but thank you so much for spending time with me I really hope you enjoyed this vlog and I cannot wait to see you super soon bye